Hello world, this video showing you about the Kerberos Authentication Overview. First, what is Kerberos? Kerberos is a network authentication protocol. It is designed to provide strong authentication for client and server applications by using secret key cryptography. It is the following characteristics. It is secure. Only a single login is required per session. The concept depends on a trusted third party, and it performs mutual authentication. Rather than building an elaborate authentication protocols at each server, Kerberos provides a centralized authentication server, whose function is to authenticate users to servers and servers to users. The authentication server shares a unique secret key with each server. These keys have been distributed in some secure manner. Besides, Kerberos also introduces the concept of a ticket granting server. A client that wishes to use a service has to receive a ticket, a time limited cryptographic message, giving it access to the server. The two servers combined make up a Kerberos key distribution center. There are two versions of Kerberos in common use the version 4 and version 5. Version 4 of Kerberos makes use of data encryption standard, in a rather elaborate protocol, to provide the authentication service. Version 5 is intended to address the limitations of version 4 in two areas, the environmental shortcomings, and the technical deficiencies. Now, let me show you how the Kerberos authentication works. Firstly, user logs onto workstation and requests service on host. The workstation sends a message to the authorization server requesting a ticket granting ticket. Authentication server verifies user s access right in database, creates ticket granting ticket, and session key. Results are encrypted using key derived from user s password. Then, the encrypted result is sent back to the user workstation. Workstation prompts user for password and uses password to decrypt incoming message, then sends ticket an authenticator that contains user's name, network address, and time to ticket granting server. The user proves his identity by sending the authenticator encrypted with the session key received in step 2. Ticket granting server decrypts ticket, an authenticator, verifies request, then creates ticket for requested server. The ticket granting server returns the ticket to the user workstation. The returned message contains two copies of a server session key, one encrypted with the client password, and one encrypted by the service password. Then, the workstation sends ticket received in step 4, and an authenticator to server. The ticket and authenticator is a service request. Lastly, the server verifies that ticket and authenticator match then grants access to service. If mutual authentication is required, server returns an authenticator. That's the overview of Kerberos.